What's up guys, it's Morgan. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. On Instagram, I took a poll and I asked y'all if y'all wanted to see my skincare routine, my makeup routine, or both my skincare and makeup routine. And y'all obviously wanted to see both of them. Like, it wasn't even close to a tie for anything. I'm giving out what y'all want. This is my skincare and makeup routine. If you're not already following my Instagram or my TikTok, make sure you go ahead and do that now. They're the same username. I'll put it up right here on the side. First, all I do is just put my hair up, pull it back in like this little half ponytail bun thing and call it a day. I'm going to wash my face. I use Dove soap, and I know they say it's like not good to use a bar of soap, and they say you use a cleanser, but it works for me. I have sensitive skin, if y'all didn't know. So I'm very cautious about what I put on my skin. So pretty much everything in here, it won't break you out. How do I know? Because my face breaks out, and at any chance it can get, it will break out. But first, all we're gonna do is like rinse our face. Now that you've rinsed your face, you're gonna take your washcloth and you're gonna dab your face dry. And you don't wanna do it like dry, dry, dry. You wanna do it like a little damp, but like it's not dripping wet. Like you can still feel like the moisture. Then you're gonna take your bar of soap. I like to just run the bar of soap underwater like one quick time and then just lather my hands up. And I like to do this for about 20 to 30 seconds. Now that I'm done with that, I'm gonna rinse it off. And then again, take your washcloth and dab it dry. And you still wanna make sure your face is still somewhat damp. So when you apply your products, they'll actually absorb into your skin. So I'm gonna go in with the Cetaphil Daily Facial Moisturizer with sunscreen SPF 50. The white cast on this is actually crazy. I don't know how it is on other skin tones, but I know the white cast on mine is wild. Because I used to use like a normal amount, but I was looking like Casper the, do the Dose. I was looking like Casper the Ghost. I did not look good. Then next you're gonna go in with the Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion and dry to normal sensitive skin. There's also one for like all skin types as well. Either one will work, honestly. It really doesn't make any difference at all, if I'm being honest. And then finally, for my moisturizers, I'm going in with Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula with Vitamin E. It heals, softens, and is fragrance-free. The Cocoa Butter, it's really what moisturizes my face. And it helps also with like my dark spots. Because I recently like had this bump show up in the middle of my head. And they're not pimples, because they never have a head. But they just come and they stay there and then they just create a dark spot like right there do you see that like there was a bump there and then now it looks like that but the cocoa butter usually tones it all out for me that is actually all that i do for my skincare routine it's very short very light all the stuff that i use is for sensitive skin if your skin breaks out really easily and if you have dry skin like i do this will work great and sometimes less is more for your skin if i'm being honest now i'm gonna go into my makeup routine the first thing i do in my makeup routine are my eyes and eyelashes so the products i use are the maybelline unstoppable eyeliner the telescopic mascara by l'oreal paris and the maybelline new york the colossal hydro fudge it's waterproof mascara the first thing i do is put this black eyeliner on the bottom of my waterline and i'll show y'all the first one just to like show you how i do it so i go here in my inner corner and then i go out here and then i go to the top of my inner corner and that's all i do for eyeliner but one thing i do when i do my eyeliner is i don't do the whole bottom waterline i do a little bit here and then i do a little bit the top and i leave like a space like a gap to make sure i look more i don't know it just keeps the shape it's less messy as well so that's why i recommend keeping a gap and then i go in with the telescopic mascara if you don't already have 
the telescopic mascara you need to buy it right now because it will change your life now that i'm done with the microscopic i'm gonna go in with the colossal since this one is waterproof i only do one layer because one thing i learned is that waterproof mascara is the reason your mask like your eyelashes and mascara look chunky i don't want my eyelashes to look clumpy and chunky that's not the move and i'm just going to take some micellar water and a q-tip and clean up around my eye so now i'm going to go in with concealer i use the clinique even better all over concealer and i just swoop it just like that but i just put that on like the dark spots of my face but while i blend this in i'm going to tell y'all this story so today i went to mcdonald's and i wanted to get an oreo mcflurry i went and i ordered and i was like hey like can i have an oreo mcflurry please and they're like yeah pull around and i said okay and i get up to the window and the person checking me out they're just like clicking a whole bunch of buttons and then they look at me and they're like what did you have and i said an oreo mcflurry looks me in the face and they said we're out of ice cream why did you tell me to pull around if you're out of ice cream? They would have said that in the beginning. Would I have been upset? Yes. But I wouldn't have wasted my time sitting in the line. Like, that's really the big things that I wasted so much time sitting in that line. Once I'm done blending my concealer, I go in with the Pixi on the Glow Bronze in the shade Beach Glow. With my bronzer, I go in with my cheeks on both sides. I go in with my nose, I just go like a swoop around my nose and then I go across my forehead as well. Blend in my bronzer, I use an angled brush from e.l.f. and a beauty blender. Also, so listen, I was on my way home. I was driving, driving, minding my business, listening to music, tired, I was hungry. I just wanted to go home, right? Then you wanna know what happened? A squirrel. And a squirrel ran in front of my car and I hit it. Like, if you would see the road I live on, you would you would know there's a lot of wildlife. Like deers run across all the time. Next, I'm going in with the Physicians Formula Blush, and it's in the shade Blushing Rose. But I missed it. I thought I had I didn't swerve at all because like this is my car and this is the squirrel. I was driving. I was like, yeah, right there, right there. I'm about collision. I didn't even have to do anything. I look back in my rearview mirror. I see a, and I'm like, oh great, it still has life in it. And then it, I was like, oh. But with my blush, I go in on my cheekbones and I blend up on both sides and then I go on the tip of my nose. And finally, for my face, I go in with the e.l.f. highlighter in the shade Moonlight Pearls and I put that on the tip of my nose and then on the bridge. My camera's about to die! But I go in with the MAC Lip Pencil in the shade Chestnut and I just lightly outline my lips just like that and then i go in with the broadway vita lip gloss and i just put that over top and i make sure to like kind of buffer out the harsh lines when i go in with this because of the applicator and yeah guys that is my skincare and my makeup routine probably about 10 minutes if i do this on like a regular day okay guys so my camera literally just died but i gave it like this much juice so i could finish the video but here's my finished product i hope y'all enjoyed watching my skincare and my makeup routine i hope y'all learned some things that you want to implement into your routine and i hope y'all all had an amazing friday thank you so much for watching this video make sure you like comment and subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you can see more of the videos that i have up for you guys and that's all bye